Hey dear friends, welcome back to episode 17. In this episode, I will show you how you can inherit a class in Java. Okay. In the previous, we learned how you can make an object. This time, this time I want to show you how you can make how you can work with inheritance if you have another class in your file for example I want to create a class mm, new a class player okay with with a variable player with a variable play with a default value And the method play set play. This is the getter and setter method. Public void set play. And I want to have an string play. And also I want to make another method public void get play. And the get play returns the play. Okay, return the play. Now I can use inside. Uh, I can use the player class inside my Java tutorials when I when I make the object of the player okay for example player PL is equal to new player now this is an object of the player class now I can call I can call the player the play variable if I run this string will return okay because because we made object of player okay object of player now if I want To make a method display, okay, and I make here display. I made a object of player inside the display method of my java tutorials class now if i run nothing will display it because we are not called the display uh, any method inside the main method so now i want to make an object of my class java tutorials equal to new java tutorials okay now if i call display method by gt object then display method call inside the this method we make an object of player and then we call it the play here okay 
as you can see there's written play, my player and instead of calling the variable also you can call the get player which return the player okay you can call the get play get play now it works again the same because get play also return the my player okay so this method also return this string and by system that out that print it at display on the screen and this method when done which we call it inside the main method so here first an object created of Java tutorials then by this object display method called and inside display method an, uh, another object created which it is object of the player and then by the player object you call the get play of player class get play method of player class return the play which play hold my player so this is the reason this was this was making an object but if I want if I don't want to make an object uh, of the player class what is the way what is the way I can play this I can play this okay for example for example if I call play this is okay because we uh, created the object of the player class and then we call the play by its object now I want to have no object just I want to print direct, directly the play variable as you can see the play here are not recognized as a variable inside of Java tutorials why because we does not have any variable name which was play inside Java tutorials but it is clear declared inside the player but we does not have access without making object uh, to call this play variable so here is inheritance okay here is inheritance when you want to inherit a class okay just you use the extends keyword in front of your class and they the class and then the class you want to extend I want to extend the player don't forget now you don't have access to play at when you extends the class player now you have access to play directly because you inherit inherit the play variable from the player class as you can see now we have access to the play okay my player it is okay it works nice if you don't have this extends this means you are not inherited from the player class now you are not allowed you have not access the play variable or the get play now the get play are not recognized here because the get play are not inside the java tutorials which you can call it directly just you can call directly a method of a class which you are in okay now again if I 
want to extend as you can see now I have access the get play method by extending the player class okay this was the benefit of the player that of inheritance okay get player also returned into my player object my player string so now if you have a constructor method constructor method here now it does not have any problem as you can see here is no any problem okay also you can put an access specifier for your constructor method now if you put an a parameter for your constructor method for example title now as you can see here here exists here fi uh, find some problem when you put some parameter here why because if you does not have a constructor method it has it, uh, it has by default a constructor method without parameter this is the same when you don't have the constructor method or you have it without no parameter this is the default constructor method but when when you put some parameter for your constructor method then it means you remove the default constructor method and you have your own constructor method which now it has one parameter okay and here when you extend this here found some problem okay as you can see here it tell us add constructor method okay how you can uh, you can solve this problem because in the constructor method the default constructor method in the super class uh, this called super class and this called subclass in the super class you remove the default constructor method and you have your own constructor method which have one parameter so here you should create a constructor method of your class because you inherit player java tutorials okay as you can see here has some problem still because you made you make uh, you made uh, your java tutorials constructor method but you are not calling the constructor method of your super class so at the top of your constructor method you should call the cons the super class constructor method you can call the super class constructor method by super keyword okay super and here inside the parentheses of the super keyword you can pass any value to constructor method for example if you pass hello dear okay this will pass by the super to this constructor method now here is hello dear if I printed the title here okay then it will display first hello dear okay also you can remove the default constructor method of the Java tutorial by making a parameter okay now you remove that I want to put this title here and this will pass 
to the constructor method of your class now here find some problem why because we removed the default constructor method of Java tutorials and now we have our own constructor method and here our own constructor method has one parameter so we should pass one parameter from here that is string we should pass a string okay for example the title now if you run this when you make an object this can when you make when this object gets created this constructor method automatically called and this value passed to this and from here pass the super constructor method to this and here a display now if I run it will display first the title okay as you can see here you call the get play get play method uh, you ca you can ca uh, you can access you have access directly without making any object because you extend the player class and the get play method return the play and play play have the my player if you said that before calling for example set play new player title then this will reassign reassign because you call set play and pass this value and that value will come here and here if you for example if this was p okay it will populate to this so what's the problem oh yes in a semicolon now if I run instead of my player will display new player title no title just new player okay as you can see here is the new player this was all about the uh, the super class this was calling the super class method okay thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye and please don't forget to subscribe my channel